In this exercise, you'll set up a folder in which to store objects that are referenced through data shortcuts. The data shortcuts folder contains all of the source drawings and data shortcut objects in a project. Access the project management tools in the prospector. But first, open up the project management one drawing in your tutorials folder. This drawing contains an existing ground surface, which you can see right here, alignments that represent intersecting road center lines and parcel objects that represent property boundaries. In the following exercises you'll create data shortcuts to the surface and alignments in this drawing and then reference them in a new drawing. Now while you're in Toolspace go ahead to your Prospector tab and click on the Master View. Now right click on the Data Shortcuts Collection and click Set Working Folder. Now the Working Folder is the parent folder where you save project folders. For this exercise you will specify a folder on your hard drive as your working folder. Now in the Set Working Folder dialog box go ahead and navigate to the Civil 3D Projects folder. Now note the file path up at the top, which is where you can find this folder. Click Select Folder. Now let's create a Data Shortcuts project. Right click on the Data Shortcuts collection. Now select New Data Shortcuts Project Folder. Now notice the working folder that we're in right now the one that we selected previously. Now while you're in the New Data Shortcut Folder dialog box, select Use Project Template. Go ahead and select this button under the Project Templates folder. Now go ahead and go up one directory and select the Civil 3D Project Templates folder. Click Select Folder. Now specify the following parameters. Under name, type in tutorial data shortcuts project. Use the sample project template. Now click OK. Now using Windows Explorer, go ahead and navigate to the Civil 3D Projects folder. Go ahead and double click on the Tutorial Data Shortcuts project. Now what you'll see here is a folder structure that provides separate locations for data shortcuts, source drawings, and other data. You'll save project objects in these folders in the next exercise. This is a typical structure for an Autodesk Civil 3D project. Folders are provided for many of the document types that are typical of a civil engineering project. So that's how you go about setting up a data shortcut folder in Civil 3D. In this exercise, you'll create data shortcuts from the objects in a drawing. The data shortcuts will be available to reference into other drawings. Now note that this exercise uses the Project Management-1 drawing with the modifications you made from the previous exercise. Let's first go ahead and save the source drawing with the project. First, go ahead and click on the big C. Click Save As. Navigate to your Civil 3D Projects folder. Tutorial Data Shortcuts Project. And then Source Drawings. Go ahead and save in this directory. Now note that source drawings that contain objects that are referenced in other drawings should be saved with the Data Shortcuts project. So let's begin by creating Data Shortcuts. Go up to the Manage tab, then go to the Data Shortcuts panel, and then click Create Data Shortcuts. Now note that as best practice, each one of these objects should reside in a separate drawing. 
To save time in this exercise, all the referenced objects are in the current drawing. Now in the Create Data Shortcuts dialog box, go ahead and check the following boxes. Click Surfaces and Alignments. This action selects the existing surface, as you can see right here, and both alignments that are currently within the drawing. Click OK. Now that the data shortcuts have been created, as you can see right here, the current drawing is associated with the data shortcuts project. Notice that in the Civil 3D title bar, the tutorial data shortcuts project is displayed after the drawing name. Examine the data shortcuts project. Notice the data shortcuts have been created for the objects you selected. In the next exercise, you'll reference these objects in another drawing. Now using Windows Explorer, go ahead and navigate to the Civil 3D Projects folder. Go into your Shortcuts project, and you can see if you double click on Shortcuts, now when you go into the Alignments folder, you'll see this folder contains an XML file for each alignment in the source drawing. The XML file identifies the path to the drawing that contains the alignment. Now you'll notice the same thing going on when we look in our surfaces. This is also an XML document. Now again, you'll see if we double click on the source drawings folder, this folder contains the source drawing. The source drawings should always be saved with the data shortcut project. In a real project, you would save the drawings that contain each object in the subfolders. While it's useful to know that the data shortcut XML files exist, you do not work directly with them in a normal data referencing operation. Management of data references is done in a tool space on the Prospector tab. So that's how you go about creating data shortcuts in Civil 3D. In this exercise, you'll reference several shortcuts in a new drawing. This exercise continues from creating data shortcuts, so let's continue. Now note that before you perform this exercise, you must have created data shortcuts as described in the previous exercise. Go ahead and open the drawing Project Management-2 in your Tutorials folder. This drawing is empty, but in the following steps you'll reference the objects for which you created data shortcuts in the previous exercise. Now, in the tool space, go into your Prospector tab, and then go down until you get to the Data Shortcuts collection. Now, right now we have under Surfaces an existing surface. Go ahead and right click on that surface and click Create Reference. Now, in the Create Surface Reference dialog box, you'll notice that you can specify a name, description, and style, and lastly the render material for the surface. The parameters that define the object cannot be modified in the current drawing, but you can adjust the object properties. For this exercise, you'll accept the existing property settings, except for the surface style. Go ahead and click on the style, Click on the style list and select 5 meter and 25 meter background. Click OK and then click OK again. Now if we zoom into this area, the existing surface is now displayed in the drawing using the style you specified. You can also see the reference under Surfaces within the tool space. So now that the data shortcuts have been referenced, the current drawing is associated with the Data Shortcuts project. Notice that in the Autodesk Civil 3D title bar, it shows the Tutorial Data Shortcuts project displayed after the drawing name. In the tool space on the Prospector tab, go ahead and expand the Project Management-2 and expand your Surfaces collection. Now notice that there's a little icon next to our existing surface. This means that this surface is a data shortcut. In the Data Shortcuts collection,
go ahead and click on alignments. Click on the center line alignments and you'll see two streets, one for first street and second street. For first street, go ahead and select it, right click and select create reference. In the create alignment reference dialog box, go ahead and accept the defaults and click OK. As you can see, the alignment is now displayed within the drawing. Now we're going to create an object from the referenced objects. Go ahead over to your Home tab and go over to your Create Design panel. Click the Profile drop-down and click Create Surface Profile. Now from the Create Profile from Surface dialog box, you can see that our alignment is selected which is the only alignment that we have in the drawing right now. We have our existing surface. Go ahead and select that. Click Add. Then click Draw in Profile View. Now we're in the Create Profile View Wizard. Now we're currently on the General page. Go down to the Profile View Style. Select the drop-down and select Major Grids. Now create the profile view. Now the program is asking us to select a profile view origin. Go ahead and zoom out a little bit here and we're just going to set this profile off to the side. Now we have a profile view of our referenced surface through our referenced alignment. The reference surface and alignment are currently only read-only in our drawing right now and they require little storage space. Now you can use the referenced object data to create other objects in the current drawing, but you cannot change the source objects. Go ahead and save the current drawing by going to the big C. Click Save As. Go ahead and navigate to your Tutorial Data Shortcuts Project folder. Double click on Production Drawings and save in this folder. Now like source drawings, the final production drawings that contain references to other objects should be saved with the Data Shortcuts project. Next, you'll modify the alignment in the source drawing and then update the current drawing to reflect the changes. Now currently I have two drawings open right now for project management. I have Project Management 2 and I have Project Management 1. But what I'm going to do is currently, since I'm in Project Management 2, I'm going to go down here in my Prospector and right-click on Project Management 1, click Switch 2. Now let's go ahead and select our alignment. Let's go to Alignments, Centerline Alignments, and let's zoom to First Street. Let's go ahead and select it. And now we have all of our grips. Let's go ahead and make a slight change to this alignment. Let's change this grip and slide it over like so. Press Escape to get out of the command. Now go ahead and click Save. Now we have a little balloon notification here down at the bottom that says that data shortcut definitions may have changed and that we need to synchronize. Well before we synchronize let's see what our current alignment looks like. Now if we look within our prospector in our tool space palette and we look underneath our alignments collection we'll see that under centerline alignments we have a little yellow shield right here with an exclamation point. Now this icon indicates that the reference to the source drawing is out of date. Go ahead and right click on this alignment and select synchronize. Now notice that the alignment is updated to reflect the changes that you made in the source drawing. Now also notice that those changes are reflected in our profile view as well. So that's how you go about referencing data shortcuts in Civil 3D.